Welcome back to Trading 360. Adam Goldstein's with us. He is founder and CEO of Archer Aviation. You may have seen him ringing the opening bell today. A lot of big news on this company that we are going to discuss. Welcome. Thank you. I think it's welcome back. I, I remember you ringing the bell um, some time ago. I mean, this is a company that you founded back in 2018. It's been growing. You have a new deal with NASA, which we'll get to. But when we think about vertical takeoff, right, in the world of aerospace, I, I don't think people, I mean, they only think about that for aliens or something, right? I mean, it sounds silly, but really no one really thinks about that or maybe in the military. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about how that has evolved and your special proprietary configuration that you have. And this is something that is exclusive to ACHR is the ticker symbol. Yes. So today people take vertical takeoff and landing vehicles um, via helicopters. So that's how most people know the industry. Yeah. But as energy density in lithium ion batteries just continued to get better, it's enabled this whole new category, which is referred to as electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, which are used for urban air mobility trips. So we will be replacing trips that take 60, 90, 120 minutes on the ground in cars with flights that take five to 10 minutes. So think about an urban center like Manhattan going to the airport like Newark. A trip that can take you 90 minutes, we can fly there in five minutes. I love it. And since you're from California and you gave me an East Coast rest reference, I can appreciate that. Um, that being said, as we think about this technology, tell me about the SpaceX agreement with NASA and why that's such a big deal for your company. I mean, this is your moment, right? Yeah, it's really exciting because NASA actually helped create some of the core underlying technology that the industry uses they helped figure out how to use multiple electric motors to fly airplanes. And that's really the core underlying uh, technology that we use today. So we're going to start by working with NASA on the safety of battery cells. So today we use lithium ion battery cells, very similar to what you see on the ground uh, with EVs. And now we're putting them into the air. And as the product really has the ability to become a mass market transportation solution, it's going to be critical that the traveling public understands the safety of these vehicles. Right, so lithium ion battery cells. Um, these are high performing battery cells, right? From yes. what I understand. Um, are we worried? Are there worries about either getting the materials that you need to supply this kind of new phase of electric vehicles? Are we worried about getting these things charged properly over a period of time, over however you do this? Yeah, the good news is that we use a similar technology that is already being used in masses um, on the ground with EVs. So we are procuring um, battery cells, lithium ion cells, um, from a commercial off the shelf vendor. So it's not like there's some new technology that we're waiting for. And these cells have been proven to be very, very safe. And a lot of the work we're doing with NASA will help really show that in a, in a really broad, uh, a broad way to validate it. We use similar type of charging that you see um, like a Tesla supercharger would use, 2C charging. So a lot of the really hard problems that have been mm -hmm. put into place really happened when Elon Musk uh, you know, put Tesla on the map and really helped develop the entire EV industry. Do you know Elon Musk? Have um, you met him ever? <laughs> I don't know him personally. But no. you should have a conversation with him, I'm sure. Um, can we talk about you know, the idea of how this can expand? I mean, are we thinking flying taxis, flying cars? Is that where we're getting to? Because yours is the is the midnight aerospace vehicle of some sort. I want to hear exactly how large that may or may not be. But I think a lot of people start thinking about flying vehicles and flying taxis. Yeah, so these vehicles are about 6,500 pounds. So very similar, actually, to a Tesla Model X in terms right. of weight. But they yeah. have a wing. And so about a 50-foot wing that's put on top of these planes. And so they're designed to fly up to around 100 miles, but really targeting trips that are in the closer to 20 to 40 mile type of trip. So the right. trips, again, that are on the ground that take a long time to, to drive. Um, you know, we talk about helicopters, but the idea behind this too is the exciting part, is this going to ultimately be uh, cheaper, quieter, e provide some ease or mm -hmm. dependability? Yeah, so electric planes get substantial benefits over the competitor's helicopters. Um, and that comes in the form of cost, safety, and noise. Um, from the noise perspective, these vehicles have much smaller propellers that spin much slower. So they make very little noise, and when flying overhead, are basically silent or just blend in to the background on the ground. 
from a safety perspective, there's zero single points of failure. So these vehicles can fly and get ultimately certified at very similar levels that the big commercial airliners get certified to today. And because they're electric, we can actually manufacture them and operate them at price points that are very, very low, similar to what rideshare prices are. So among all of this, I mean, does this ensure U.S. in the leadership position in the world of aerospace? I mean, because this is sort this deal that you have, this collaboration is very exciting. It is an initial project, um, from what I understand, right, about these battery cells and safety testing and such. I'm sure you're extremely proud to be working with NASA. I mean, I can't I can't think of a higher achievement, and you, you and your team must be. Um, extremely proud of this. Tell me how it's going to grow and maybe also how it helps the United States. Yeah, so I think it is critical that the U.S. maintains a leadership position in aviation. Uh, we lost some of that leadership in the drone market and now it's become really critical in these new electric airplanes that we do really make sure we maintain a broader leadership in aviation. The good news is that the FAA and the broader you know, public has been very supportive of the industry. So the FAA put a framework in place, um, starting with the former administrator, Billy Nolan, to help certify these vehicles. And now we're at the final stages going through the flight testing portion of the process where we can actually certify these vehicles. And so that has been really exciting. And with NASA coming on board and really helping show the safety of these vehicles on top of the FAA certification, I really think it'll enable the flying public to gain the trust of these vehicles, which can enable them to scale and become ultimately a mass market transportation solution. Yeah. Adam, I'm excited for you. Thank I you. mean, it really is your moment now is that you're, you've been here on the New York Stock Exchange, but your platform continues to grow and some of your visions are really coming to fruition. So congratulations, Adam Goldstein, founder and CEO of Archer Aviation. Thank you.